Hi guys, I'm Tirso and I'm an art director based in New York City. In this video, I wanna to talk to you about some common graphic design mistakes. If you're making them now, not a big deal. I just want you to be aware of them so you can avoid them. You'll be a better designer for it after. All great things. Let's get to it. So what is contrast? Contrast is the difference between two things. There are different types of contrast in design. These are scale, color, typography, and shape. Let's look at these in context. There's nothing technically wrong about this layout, but we can improve how dynamic it is by applying contrast. The first thing I want to do is switch this grid from six columns to seven columns. I find that grids with an odd number of columns make it a little bit easier to break up the page. Let's tackle scale contrast first by adjusting the size of the images and how many columns the text takes up as well. You can see that the layout is already starting to take shape, so we can move on to typography contrast. I want to first create contrast between the headline and the body copy. There's also a caption here, and I also want to make sure that it has contrast with the headline and the body copy. I'm a fan of color blocking, so let's add some color to that caption. I'm going to grab the same color from the caption and apply it to the headline. We can add a second color here. Again, we're talking about color contrast, so we just want to make sure that we have high contrast between the headline and the background. The last contrast that I want to cover is shape contrast. If you know your Gestalt principles, you'll know that these are used to separate different sections. Everything's really boxed right now, so I wanna introduce some new shapes. YouTube magic for you, I have a spoon and a cup to the side of my layout. Let's look at the before and after side by side. Again, there's nothing technically wrong with the first layout, but I do find the second layout to be more dynamic. Just a disclaimer that the next layout is a designer's worst nightmare, but for the purposes of example, I think it works. Okay, whoa. There's a lot going on here. I think there's just too many elements in general. You don't need that much color to overpower the page. I think there's too many products as well. I'm gonna start off by removing all of the color and just turning everything black. You should work in black anyways, just so that you could focus on all the elements. If you're new to typography, I would work with one typeface and then use the fonts within that typeface. For now, I'm just going to switch everything to Gotham. Thank you. 
There's too many words on this page in general. If the copy is going to be that long, then I suggest you use running text instead. For now, let's just reduce the amount of copy within the captions. There's a lot of products on here. I'm gonna remove a couple of them just so that I have more space for the other products. I wanna take you back to typography contrast so that we can clean up the typography on this page. Now that all the elements are set, I'm going to do some... Anyway, now that all the elements are set, we can start working with the layout. Keep in mind scale contrast, we'll do color contrast later, and I think there's enough shapes on here to differentiate between everything. Contrary to the layout that we looked at earlier, there is some color coming from the products here, so I don't think that we should go overboard. A convention that I like to use from editorial design is just a strip of color to add an extra element of overlay. Lastly, since we added another element, we have to adjust the layout. I consider this to be micro design and it really just finesses the final product. Let's look at the before and after side by side again. I think there's a clear winner. If you disagree, then I can't force you to be right. 
this was a lot. It's gonna take time before these become second nature to you, but that's why we're talking about it now. Keep these in mind the next time you design something and you're on your way to becoming a better designer. Comment below if you have any questions, subscribe to this channel if you want to learn more about design, and I'll see you in the next video.